Reading the case files, it is obvious why Otis Toole has been a key suspect in the murder of Adam Walsh for 12 years. After he was convicted of arson in a Jacksonville courtroom in 1983, Toole said he wanted to talk about a murder he'd committed a few years ago. He told detectives he'd kidnapped a child who said his name was Adam from a Fort Lauderdale area mall, a spur-of-the-moment decision to take the child and raise the child as his own. July 27, 1981, six-year-old Adam disappeared from a Hollywood mall. His head was found two weeks later, 125 miles away, in a canal west of Vero Beach. Tool tells detectives the child became rowdy in his car as he was heading north to Jacksonville, and he slapped the daylights out of him. In an autopsy of the head, the medical examiner determined Adam had received blows to the face and had a fracture to the nose. In 1983, Tool said he grabbed Adam around the throat and started to choke him using both hands, and he never regained consciousness. In 1981, the medical examiner believed Adam was dead before decapitation. Toole told detectives he used two hands to swing the machete approximately half a dozen times to decapitate the child. The medical examiner had ruled the killer had to use two hands on the machete for the necessary force. But Toole would change details of his story in follow-up statements, then recant the entire confession, confess again, recant again. It definitely creates problems, and um, they're difficult, but I don't think they're problems that can't be overcome. Preclude a prosecution taking place. Our experts, Clint Wonderly and Doug Stevens, former Metro Dade policemen with nearly 25 years experience in homicide investigations, have gone through much of the case. In regards to physical evidence, there's not anything else they can do. They have, uh, they have what they have, and it's not going to get any better. They don't have much, and what could have been critical evidence, blood found in Tool's 1971 Cadillac, has been lost. But in 1991, a man by the name of William Missler, who owns this Hollywood business, came forward to police to say that he saw Tool and Walsh together in Tool's car back in 1981. Under hypnosis, Missler described Tool's car, even including a dent that hadn't been made public. Missler talked about seeing lawn tools in the car. Tool was known to have worked cutting lawns. I think it is a prosecutable case. So far, no one's been charged. Connie Hicks, Eyewitness News, Nightbeat.